we're going to break down how we lit Machine Gun Kelly on fire. My name's Ivan Moran. I'm visual effects supervisor for Project Power for Netflix. Project Power tells the story of some shady group that manufactures a drug which is tested on individuals. It gives the individuals super abilities or powers for five minutes. 1001, 1002, we did a camera test, just somebody's feet walking through frame. We devised little flaming footprints, embers that came off the floor. We then did the repeated stunt fire test. When it was all put together with some CG fire added, it looked fantastic. The one problem that remained, and it's the hardest thing of all, is the lighting problem. Solve the problem of how to illuminate the actor from what would become the fire on his body. We came up with this LED suit, which was strips of LEDs that could be programmed. The shot where he's in the chair was meant to be a highly explosive element, so we chose a mannequin and we exploded it on fire. On top of it, we build a digital version of each of our characters so that we're able to augment them. And so this was one of the few shots where the character that you see in the chair is purely digital, a purely digital version of Machine Gun Kelly. And then various CG elements have been added in terms of fire and explosions and embers to really give it that sort of terrifying feeling. One of my other favorite shots is Machine Gun Kelly dropping through the holes that we presume he's actually made in order to navigate this building. We don't really know. You can see in the plate, it is actually Machine Gun Kelly. He's uh, on a wire harness that gets painted out. We then match his performance from an animation and lighting standpoint with the digital double. But once we have that step, then we're able to add all of the elements that we have in our library and visual effects. Interactive lighting, more lighting onto the body of the character, and all of the various fire, steam and smoke and ember elements. Once we had those matched, we then took a little bit of creative license to move the fire. We really wanted it to be a character, so it moves around his body. And by slight happy accident, one of the visual effects artists had too much volume, for lack of a better description, on his fire setting. And when it was rendered, it looked like the digital double character was almost like a blowtorch. It looked a little unrealistic, but it was quite fascinating, and the directors really wanted to employ it somewhere. So where we employed it is the shot where Machine Gun Kelly reignites after taking the three pills. Do, 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 do. <sighs> he puts his hands on the walls, and then when he ignites, he ignites in this incredibly ferocious human blowtorch kind of way, almost at desperation level to, to get his foe. Where do you get this shit from? Who's making it? Tell me the source. Science in this moment is that he's essentially ODing. It's awesome. I'm, I'm very excited to add this character to my resume. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please check out Project Power on Netflix.